In this video, I'm going to teach you how to start selling on Amazon. And this isn't one of those five or six minute videos. This is a proper in-depth how to sell on Amazon. I've got a very professionally made slideshow here. It took me three weeks and I'm really, really excited to show it to you. So if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Selling on Amazon FBA. The whys and hows of selling on Amazon. Firstly, who am I? Well, I think it's important that you actually know who's talking to you over the next hour or so, um, because again, this is like a proper course, so there's a lot to learn, and I want you to know who is actually talking to you. So my name is Shimmy Morris. I am, at the moment, 23 years old. I love traveling, I love supercars, um, I love photography, videography, all that sort of stuff. I currently sell on Amazon, and I have a few other businesses. So. As you can see from this photo here, that's me on the right. Yes, I'm posing. Um, and on the left, you can see I'm doing all sorts of handstands. Well, one of my things is whenever I travel to a different country, I take a handstand in that country. And you can see how I've progressively gotten better. Um, like I used to do two hands and then I can do one hand and now I'm doing crazy one hand. So it's actually improved my handstands. Um, so that's who I am. I started um, online businesses when I was about 18. I started selling when I was about 13, um, and I started Amazon about three and a half, four years ago. Um, so when I was about 20, 19, 20, I started selling on Amazon. And that's who I am, so I hope that was a good introduction. And let's get right into this training, because I, I don't want to be boring you anymore. Um, all right, so what will I cover in this video? So the things I'm gonna cover, why you must be selling on Amazon, what is private label, like what's a private label product, conducting product research, sourcing from China, launching your product, the most commonly asked questions, and this is a great part of it, like a really good part of it, having a mentor versus going at it alone, and I'm gonna introduce you to Azon University too, but I'm gonna leave that for the end. So, why you must be selling on Amazon, why Amazon is the biggest and best money-making opportunity today. So let's just answer that question, why you must be selling on Amazon. Amazon have over 310 million active customers. And to put that into perspective, that's pretty much the same size as the population of America, or a bit less. They have 100 million prime members, and that's 100 million people paying around $100 a year. That's $10 billion a year. And 95% of those people say they will keep renewing their memberships. And why am I telling you this? Well, selling on Amazon allows you to access all these prime ready customers. And I'm gonna get into that more later on in the video. One of the hardest parts of starting a business is getting customers to buy your product. But with Amazon, they already have over 310 million customers. So why bother trying to find customers when you can sell your product on Amazon and instantly have access to all of their customers? Amazon is the only company in the world that can ship a product for free in two days or less and do so with the coverage that they have. So there are other companies that now do two-day shipping, but none that are as big as Amazon. And even Walmart is trying to copy them, but remember, Amazon is 2.5 or 2.5 times bigger than Walmart. That's how big Amazon is, it's flipping huge. So this is what people want the most, fast shipping. And I know I have personally bought something um, even though it costs more, just because I knew I'd get it in two hours or two days shipping. And two days shipping for Amazon is baseline now. They want two minute shipping. In fact, Amazon hold the record and delivered a product to someone on December the 24th in Manhattan, so Manhattan is crazy, on December the 24th, which is a crazy day, in 11 minutes. That's like the most ridiculous fact ever. And this is why I'm talking to you about selling on Amazon. They are the forefront and the future of e-commerce and I have experienced firsthand what an incredible opportunity is. So let's get into it. How can you sell on Amazon? We've discussed why selling on Amazon is key and now let's go over what Amazon has done to allow regular people like you and me to build a profitable business using their platform. They created something called FBA. Amazon FBA pretty much stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. It means when you sell a product on Amazon, it is fulfilled by Amazon, which is FBA. They keep your items in their factories and when a customer buys, Amazon will do all the hard work. They'll package it, they'll deliver it, all in the space of two days, or if you're in the UK, it's one day. And now 
there's Amazon Prime now. So this can take all of two hours for them to do all of this. Amazon FBA is incredible for selling your own products, but what products can you sell? You don't have any products. Do you sell someone else's product? How can you benefit from FBA? We found that the best way out of over a hundred different ways to profit on Amazon is having your own branded product. And you're probably thinking at this point, how the hell do I do that? Well, it's actually much easier than you think. And that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video. What is a private label product? Find out how to immediately remove all competition by private labeling a product. If you go into Walmart, Argos, or any superstore like that, you'll see tens of thousands of products lining the shelves. Those products aren't Walmart's brand. Some of them might be, however, there will be a huge mixture of various different brands. Some of those products are pretty much identical. They may just have a different name or a logo or different packaging or maybe just a different label. That's exactly what private labeling is. Getting your own private label is much easier than you think. A private label product is manufactured by a third party and is usually sold to many people with each buyer tweaking it slightly to make it their own. This plays a huge part in Amazon as the majority of products are private labeled. As you can see from these two water bottles, they're practically identical. However, they have a slight different logo. And I even found the supplier. If I really wanted, I could go and order this bottle, this exact bottle, and put my own logo on it and create my entire own brand, even though it's practically identical to so many others on Amazon. Isn't that cool? You can see these products are pretty much identical, right? Literally identical, yet they're both making great amount of money and they're pretty much both used the same supplier. So that's what private labeling is. They both got it from the same supplier, but they slapped their own label on it and now they have their own listings on Amazon selling this product. And you might be thinking at this point, well, this sounds cool and it's easy enough, but why is it important for succeeding on Amazon? So why is private label important for succeeding on Amazon? Well, there are a lot of listings that fight over one sales page. I'm gonna try and um, put this across as simple as possible because it can be quite a complicated topic, okay? So at the moment, you can see from this picture, okay, you can see Allens of Kingsbury Swimwear. So you can see it says dispatched and sold by Allens of Kingsbury Swimwear, right? They are winning and they are controlling the add to cart button. The sales page is theirs, right? However, you can see that there are five other sellers selling this product right? You can see it says five new from £16.47, okay? So the Allens of Kingsbury Swimwear won't always have this sales page in the buy box, right? Sometimes they'll be controlling the main sales page and sometimes one of the other five people will be controlling the main sales page and owning the add to cart button, okay? So you can see that this main sales page is being shared between all these five people, by not private labeling, you're immediately opening yourself up to direct competition and fighting over the add to cart button. Does that make sense? So like I said, you've got one page on Amazon, five people selling that product on that one page. They can't all have that add to cart button that you see on the, on the page, right? Sometimes one will have it, sometimes another person will have it, which means you're not getting the full potential of your sales. You wanna be getting sales 24 seven, not for two hours on this day and three hours on that day. You wanna be getting them all the time. So here's another example. This person has taken this generic product, which is just a skipping rope, slapped their logo onto it, which is Beast Gear. Um, they slap their logo onto the handle and onto the carrying case. And because they've done this, they can now have the sales page all to themselves, 100% of the time. They aren't competing with anyone on their page. Like I said, they will control the page and the add to cart button 100% of the time. Oh, and just by the way, just to add, I found their item on Alibaba, and we'll discuss this later on, but I found their exact product on Alibaba, and all they had to do was ask their supplier to put their logo on the handles and on the carrying case, and that's it. Isn't that really easy? So, let's get into the meat of this slideshow. Conducting product research. Find out how easy it is to find profitable private label products. There are three principles of profitable products. And we're going to cover the three main principles to ensure that the products we end up with um, will be selling well and will be successful. There are lots of different principles, but we're gonna cover three in this video. 
So the first principle is the number one Amazon success principle. The second principle is the easy number one page ranking principle. And the third principle is the profitability principle. So let's go through all of those. The number one Amazon success principle. If you don't know which products will succeed um, with this driver, you can predict the success of any product. If it has demand, then it needs supply, right? If something has demand, it needs to be supplied. And if there's not enough supply, sorry, if there's not enough demand, then you don't really need supply, right? That's just supply and demand. So we are going to use the best seller rank, which is short for BSR. So if I ever say BSR in this slideshow, I'm saying best seller rank to determine how much demand a product has and see if it has potential to make us a decent amount of profit. If a product has no demand, it doesn't matter if you have the number one spot on Amazon, it won't get sales, right? So if you're the number one on Amazon for, I don't know, a pen, but pens get zero searches, it doesn't matter if you're number one, right? Because no one's gonna be seeing you or clicking you. If a product has a BSR of one to 300, then that is amazing. And if I've lost you here, don't worry, I'm gonna explain what all of this means. If it has a BSR <clears throat> from 300 to 1,500, then that's also workable. And I bet you're thinking, surely we can't find out private information like the BSR of other people's products, right? We can't find out what other people's products BSRs are. Well, actually you can, and it is super easy. And let me quickly show you how easy it really is. And then I'll explain further why it is so important and how to actually use the information. So, Number one, we'll search for an item on Amazon. So I've searched for Nike skipping rope, or Nike skipping rope. Okay, number two is click on one of the listings. So you can see I've clicked on um, this listing, skipping rope. You can see the listing on the right. And number three is scroll down to the, like, the middle of the page to where it says additional information, okay? And from the different additional information, you can see the best seller rank. You can see its BSR is 21. We can also see that it's number one in sports and outdoors, forward fitness, forward accessories, forward skipping ropes. Okay, but we only care about the main category BSR. We don't care about the subcategories because the main category really tells you how much demand there is. So just like that, we can see that the skipping rope has a BSR of 21, okay? Now, remember, the nearer to one, the better it is because number one is the best BSR you can get. So 21 is flipping amazing. That's amazing. And remember our, our, our limits were, what did we say? One to 300, okay? That's amazing. And if it's 300 to 1,500, then it's workable. This is 21, that's amazing, right? So that shows that it's got amazing demand. I've said amazing way too many times. Okay, so you're probably thinking at this point, this sounds cool, but I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this BSR information. And that's because I haven't told you yet. So let me answer that for you. The aim here is to find a product that has excellent demand. And we've established that products with a good BSR show good demand. So we want to search for a product and find about 10 that have a great BSR, which is one to 1,500. We know that one skipping rope has a BSR of 21, but how are all the other skipping ropes doing? We wanna find another nine skipping ropes, so another nine more skipping ropes that have a great BSR just like the first one did. So if we can see nine other skipping ropes with BSRs within the range of one to 1,500, that is perfect. That shows amazing demand, okay? So just, I mean, just taking that bit of information in, how cool is that? We can, just from that, without spending any money, without doing any tools or doing anything, we can see exactly how much demand a product has, right? Doesn't that, doesn't that tell you that if we find a product with good demand and it ticks all the other boxes that we're gonna discuss in a minute, that that product will have potential? It, it's um, removing some of the risk when selling a product on Amazon because if you don't know how much demand a product has and you're just buying and testing and buying and testing, the chances are those products are gonna fail. This way, we are going to find the perfect product, then buy, and we know at that point it's gonna sell. So let's talk about the next principle, easy number one page ranking principle. So now that we know how to determine if a product has excellent demand, it's important to find out how tough the competition is. Can we realistically get our product to the first page of Amazon? Well, there's a few factors to determine the competition level of a particular product. And here's the main one. So like I said, there are a few factors, but in this video, I'm gonna discuss the main one. The main one being reviews, okay? Reviews will tell you all about the competition. So let's discuss this in more detail. Just like we looked at the first few products to determine the BSR, 
we need to look at the first few products to see how many reviews they have and the state of those reviews. The lower the number of reviews a product has, the easier it will be to compete with. The sweet spot is between 1 and 150 reviews. However, this isn't always like so easy to find and it's not like an exact science. So it's okay to put these numbers up to 150 to 400, right? So for example, if a product shows unbelievable demand, but the reviews are slightly higher, it's okay to, to mix it up a bit. Not everything has to be spot on perfect. Okay, so when I say the sweet spot is 1 to 150 reviews, Remember how I said we find 10 products with a BSR, bestseller rating or ranking, um, between 1 and 1,500? Well, we also want to find around 10 products that have a uh, which have a number of reviews below 150. So let me illustrate this for you. This is, um, I searched for skipping ropes, or maybe I searched for Nike skipping ropes, I don't remember, but I searched for skipping ropes, right? And you can see the first product has 300 reviews, the second has 1,000, was it 1,393? The third has 297 and the fourth has 50. So I see two huge things from this picture. All of these products but one have, review, have under 300 reviews. Can you see that? All of them except for the second one has under 300 reviews. That's a brilliant. And the second huge thing I see from this is none of these products have a five star rating. They all have four and a half stars or below. And this means we can get the upper hand. So not only can we easily compete with this, right? None of them have five stars and one of them or one of them has three and a half stars and one of them has four stars. So this is easy to compete with, right? If someone with um, um, three and a half stars can get onto the first page, surely us with five stars can get onto the first page. And I know what you're probably thinking. Well, who says we're going to have five stars? I'm going to make sure you have five stars. Don't worry. Um, and it's all completely OK. So don't worry about that. But you can see none of these have over 300 reviews except for one and none of them have a five star rating. So that's two huge ticks. So you're probably thinking 200 plus reviews is still a lot. And if that's what I need to get to the top, then I'm screwed, right? If you're thinking, oh man, 200 reviews, I'm, that's way too many to get to the first page. What if I told you that it's not? You can get to the top page with one review. Look at this, I searched for best spatula set, okay? Best spatula set. The number two product here has three reviews. The number three product here has one review and the number five product also has one review. So the number two product for this keyword, so they are getting serious amount of sales, right? And I've looked into this product. I know how many sales they're getting. They are getting a serious amount of sales and they have, what is it, three reviews. Do you know how easy it is to get three reviews? That's ridiculous. So you don't need to get 200 plus reviews to get up to the top just because other people have 200 plus reviews. Don't worry. So is this making sense, right? We're able to determine the demand based on how many, um, um, on based on how well products are doing. And we are also able to determine the level of competition there is based on the number of reviews the other sellers have. There are obviously many more ways to determine these demands and the competition. Um, but for this video, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible for you and just tell you those things. So let's talk about the profitability principle. We need to make sure you're going to be able to take money home for your family, for yourself to spend on whatever you please. At the end of the day, this is the aim, to make some extra money. So we want to be aiming to sell products for about 15 to $35 or pounds, whatever country you're in. All of this information, by the way, is um, works in America, works in England, works all around the world. We have students from all over the world. So trust me when I say, if I show you dollars or I show you pounds, it doesn't matter. It works in whatever country you're in. So why do we want to be selling products between 15 and $35? Well, let's work out what this could mean for your take home profit. Okay, so we're going to work out some numbers here. Well, I've already worked out these numbers, but I'm going to tell you some numbers here. <clears throat> if you sourced a product with shipping and Amazon fees and all of the other fees for around $10 and just to keep things simple, let's say you sold that item for $20 which is a perfect price point. And by the way, this scenario is super realistic because we've done it and I know tons of people who have done it as well, okay? If you were able to make 10 sales a day, and that means you would be bringing home $100 a day or 100 pounds a day, right? That's pure profit. That's $3,000 a month of pure profit. Or again, 3,000 um, um, 3, pounds a month of pure profit, right? Now, is this it? $3,000 a month? 
Well, no, it's not. Because if you're thinking, wow, $3,000 a month, that, that's okay. It's a bit too much effort for $3,000 a month. Well, no, that's not it. 30,000 plus a month. And let me just explain that for you because before you're just like, nah, this is a scam. 30,000 a month, okay? Amazon don't limit you to having one product. Mind blown, right? They allow you to have as many products as you want. Well, could you not then have 10 products, all making 10 sales a day, all at a $10 profit? That's $30,000 a month of pure profit, right? If you can do one product, you can do two, you can do three, you can do 10, you can do 100. There's no limit to how many products you can be selling. And if you can get 10 sales a day per product, which by the way, 10 sales a day is easy, right? And if you can be making $10 profit, that is at 30, at 10, at 10 products, sorry, that is $30,000 a month. That's serious money right there. That is serious money. And there's literally no end to it, right? You can, if you want to make more money, just keep adding products or scale those existing products to 20 sales a day, to 30 sales a day. If all your 10 products are getting 30 sales a day, that's a 90 grand a month of pure profit. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's pretty crazy, right? One of our students has over 25 products on Amazon, okay? He's taking home around 60,000 pounds a month, and that's around 80 to 90,000 dollars, depending on where the exchange rate is at that point in time, right? But that's 80 to 90,000 dollars a month, and he's not slowing down. He's adding two to three new products every single month. What would you do with all that money? Ask yourself, what would you do with an extra $3,000 a month, right? It would help pay the bills. Maybe you can treat yourself. Maybe you can go on holiday. Maybe you can buy the latest phone or gadget or something. But hold that thought because I want you to then ask yourself, what would $30,000 a month do for you, right? What would you do with $30,000 a month? We're now talking in the territory of, of upgrading houses buying flashy cars, buying your kids whatever you want, sending them to college. If you want to send them to college, doing pretty much whatever it is you want to do, right? Whatever it is at any point in time. So that is the potential, okay? And that's why the 15 to $35 price point is so important. So you're now probably thinking, okay, I know the criterias, that's all good, but how do I choose a product like this? I want to choose a product that has the demand principles, that has the competition principles, that has the profitability principles. How do I choose a product like this? Well, let's go into that. Here are just some bonus principles, just so you know them. When we're choosing a product, you want to have these in mind as well. And I wasn't gonna put these in the slideshow, but I was going through the slideshow, just practicing and just seeing like what I could add and what I should take away. And I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna add this because I think it's super useful. So we now, we now know the different principles for choosing a profitable product. And I'm going to give you a few bonus things to consider. And then we're gonna start working on our list of product ideas. Bonus principles, small and lightweight. This equals cheap shipping and less Amazon FBA fees. We want something generic that can be private labeled and we want something simple enough without too many moving parts. We don't want anything um, dangerous um, because that would require Amazon approval, right? So we don't want something that needs any sort of approval because that will just make the process longer and more expensive. We want something so simple that um, if it breaks, we know what's wrong with it um, or it's literally, we know how to sell it. If it's got tons of moving parts, not only is it gonna be like, break very easily, but we're just not gonna understand it unless you understand that sort of stuff, right? And we want something generic that can be private label. Something generic is like a water bottle, spatula set, a hammock, right? We're not talking about iPhones or um, stuff like that, okay? Look at this, simple water bottle. There are about hundreds and even thousands of these on Amazon, these exact same ones. And the reason I said small and lightweight is because again, cheap shipping and less Amazon FBA fees. So how to create our list of product ideas. So we're now up to creating a list of product ideas. About We wanna create about 20 different product ideas. And don't worry if those product ideas aren't in the demand or competition principle. These are just ideas that are in your head and you need to write them down on paper. So forget everything I've taught you, okay? Just forget it for now. And I want you to write down some ideas. So if you don't have a pen and paper with you, you can do this with me if you want, okay? You can go and get a pen and paper. Um, you can just go back if you miss anything, but you can go and get a pen and paper and write down some ideas with me when I show you. <clears throat> Here are three ways to find different 
um, potential product ideas that we can sell. So number one is looking at the current best sellers on Amazon. Number two is looking at the most wished for items on Amazon. And number three is the random letter product search. And this is my favorite one. Okay, and let me just quickly say, these aren't the only three ways, right? I know tons of ways. I'm talking 10 plus ways to create a list of products, right? So many ways. Um, but I just wanted to, like I said, keep this video simple. So I told you the three ways that I want to tell you. So let's discuss them further and dial down how you can go and find profitable products. So best sellers on Amazon. A best seller on Amazon will most likely show good potential. If it's a best seller, it will most likely have good demand, but it could also have high competition. So again, let's just write them down for now and we'll research the demand and the competition a bit later. So how do we find the best sellers on Amazon? Well, there are a few ways to do that. The first way is you want to put a minus sign or like a dash and then a bunch of random letters and as you can see from my amazon search bar i've done dash d s f j d a f f a d just like i just typed the random letters okay um and this will bring up all the best sellers in every category don't ask why it just does it okay you can then dial it down a bit by selecting certain categories or making sure they are between certain price points so on the left here you can see on the left you can then go into certain categories like um sports and outdoors, home and kitchen, digital music, toys and games. If you click on those categories, it will then show you the best sellers in those categories. Once you do that, once you click a category, you can also select price points, also down the left-hand side. So then you can select 15 to 35 pounds or 15 to 35 dollars, right? You can also select the number of reviews, just so many ways you can do it. The other way you can do it is also, you can go directly into the Amazon bestseller page, right? By going to this link, and I'll leave this link up for a couple of seconds, and that will show you all the bestsellers, okay? Now, alternatively, if you don't want to put um, this ginormous link in, which I don't blame you, you can just search Google Amazon bestsellers, and the page will be the first one, and that will show you all their bestsellers by category. So, most wished for, this is the next way. Why is doing the most wished for a a good idea. So a most wished for item is a great place to get a list of ideas that you could study deeper later on. And first things first, we want, like I said, a list of about 10 to 20 products that we can research into more depth later on. But why is most wished for clever? Well, most wished for is what people want. They want in their future. They want to be buying it. They either want it as a present. They can't afford it right now. They're, sa like they're saving up for it. Or they just have, like I do, Anything I think of at the top of my mind that I want to buy either now or in the future, I just add to my most wish for. And when I make a certain amount of money and I think, hey, you know what, I've made this much, I can go and spend some. I'll go to my most wish for, see what I've wanted, and I'll get it, okay? So most wish for is really good to see where you can put a product in the market for people. You can go direct to Amazon's most wish for page from the bestseller. So you can see the bestseller is here on the, um, on the left here, and then you can just click most wish for, okay? Or you can go to this link, or like I said before, you can um, just search Google Amazon's most wish for, and it will be the first link. The third one, the random letter product search. The third way to get product ideas is to go to Amazon and put one letter in the keyboard, all right? Just like an F, or I've done a U. Amazon will then give you various suggestions, and usually these suggestions tell you what's the most popular product, starting with that letter. So if you put a U in like me, you'll see that USB-C cables will be the first one to come up. That is because USB-C cables is the most popular product on Amazon starting with the letter U. Remember that, okay? And this is my favorite way because you get such random and diverse products you would never have even thought of before. I mean, look at the last one. You can even buy unicorns on Amazon. Who knew? And I personally find this is the best way. This is how we found our product and this is how we find most of our products. Because just for example, would you have thought of Umbrella? No, but Umbrella is the number two one. And you can even take it a step further and you can search, okay, if Umbrella is good, let's like dial it down a bit. What about a travel umbrella? Then search for travel umbrella. And that is exactly what we did. And we found that travel umbrella is really good. Okay, so I find the random letter product search is probably one of the best ways to find products on Amazon. So let's just quickly recap that entire section, just very quickly. The idea here is to create a list of 10 to 20 product potentials. And this can be anything from stuff on your desk to random objects in your brain. The three techniques we just went through should help you create that list of 20, 10 to 20 products. And once we have that list ready, we can start using the principles that we learned to find out if they have enough demand and if they have like a good amount of competition and if they're in the profitability scale. 
So if you have more money to invest and want this process to go faster, there are a few tools which seriously help speed things up and allow you to see the big picture. And we personally use AMZ Scout to find product ideas and then dial them down to find out if they could work. And I'm going to quickly show you how these tools how these tools work so you can decide if you like them or not. So I'm just gonna quickly go over these tools to see if it's something you're interested in, okay? So there's an AMZ Scout web app. And the AMZ Scout web app allows you to quickly curate a list of potential products that you can go into further research, right? So instead of doing the most wished for, um, the best sellers and the random letter search, you can go to this website and it looks like this. And again, all the links will be in the description, okay? You can go like this, you can tick all the categories that you want. You can put all the properties in. So properties is like just another word for principles. So the price, which is 15 to 35, the rank is one to 1,500, reviews is zero to 400. And then you click um, apply. I wouldn't put all these in. I would put um, like home and kitchen, um, kitchen and dining, office products, what else, sports and outdoors, health and household, yep. Um, what else, what else, what else? Beauty and personal care, yep. Um, I don't know if I said home and kitchen, but home and kitchen. All right, then you click apply and you get a whole list of products, right? Once you've got those list of products, you then go over to what is called the AMZ Scout Chrome extension. And this is all one big tool, okay? Well, actually, they're probably two separate tools. Well, they are two separate tools, but one is a Chrome extension and one is like a web app. So you go to the website to use it. The Chrome extension, um, you have to go onto Amazon's website, search for the product, and you see where that little arrow is here? This is the Chrome extension. So you click that and this big thing pops up. And don't worry, you're probably thinking, whoa, way too much information. But don't worry, because you don't need to know half of this information, especially now when you're just starting out, okay? So again, once you have your list of products, use the AMZ Scout Chrome extension to quickly find the BSRs of the products, the number of reviews, as well as other interesting facts. So remember I told you that you have to go to each individual product, click on it, scroll down, find the bestseller rank. Well, by having this tool, it allows you to quickly see them. So this is the rank, right? We can quickly see that this one is 458, this is 1, 2047, 947, 43. We can see the average, right? We can also see the number of reviews. 1,750, 1,043, 4,000. This is crazy amount of reviews, right? We can also see the average um, number of reviews. And we can see the price. So if it's 15 to $35. So that is the two tools. I didn't want to dwell on it too much. I just wanted to tell you about them and tell you that is what they're there for, that they're pretty cool and they, they speed up a lot of time. But again, if you don't want to spend any money, you can do it manually. Now you're armed with these principles, you can easily find a product that have high demand and you can rank on the top page for. But I know what you're thinking, even if you have the best product idea, how do you source it from China? Because that's another whole complicated matter, isn't it? Well, no, it's not, okay? And now we're gonna discuss sourcing from China. So like I said, I'm really trying to cover as much as I possibly can in this YouTube video, in this slideshow for you. So, sourcing from China is much easier than you think. It's not the same as the 1980s where you need to order a thousand items or even fly to China and go to the factory. You can literally start with as little as one unit and you only need to send them a few messages online to get your product. So sourcing from China. Now that we know how to find a product and what makes a product good, we have to figure out if it can be sourced, bearing in mind the profitability principle. Thankfully, there's an amazing website called Alibaba. It makes this whole process so much easier. It's basically a website like Amazon, but for buying wholesale items from China. It's awesome. It's really awesome. So the biggest misconception when sourcing your products is that you need a ton of money in order to meet the supplier's ridiculous MOQs, which stands for minimum order quantities. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Nowadays, you can find products with minimum order quantities of one, I mean, I don't recommend that as I want you to make money on this business. But my point is you don't have to be worried about not being able to afford stock. It's really not that expensive. And I've got these four examples here. This one has a minimum order quantity, an MOQ of one. This one has a minimum order quantity of two. This has an MOQ of 10. And this has an MOQ of 50. So you can see you can really sell and you can see the difference in prices as you go down. So this product is much cheaper, even though it's less than that because that's not a real bag, whereas this is a proper bag, okay? So you can really see how the price drops and that you can actually order as many pieces as you want to get yourself started on Amazon, right? So 
There are a few things that we need to consider when finding a supplier. We need to make sure that they are gold suppliers only, so where it says gold plus suppliers. We also need to make sure that they accept trade assurance. So we want to tick the trade assurance box and we want to tick the gold plus suppliers box. And why do we want to do this? Well, I want to ensure that you don't um, that you don't come across any risk and that you are fully secure in your um, with your supplier and with making your order. And these two things, amongst other things which I'll discuss in the video in later on, um, will ensure that you have a healthy relationship with your supplier because that is what I want for you. So communication, this is big. Isn't it incredible that in the modern day we can click a few buttons on an app or a website, contact someone from across the world and, in, and order a bunch of items with your own logo on it. And without even speaking to anyone, you can get your very own product line on Amazon. It's incredible. You literally don't have to say a word to anyone. You can just type a few messages and you can have your own line of whatever, your own branded product on Amazon. <clears throat> so you start by picking a few different suppliers and the more the merrier, like literally find as many suppliers as you can. Click the contact supplier button, right? Where the big red arrow is facing and then copy and paste this message and I'll show you the message on the next slide um, to all of them, right? But make sure to change the name and to make it unique and I'll show you that uh, message now. So here is the message and all the blank spot are actually gonna be places where you put your name in. So um, I would write this message down, copy it somehow um, because this message is really, really good and I've actually always saved this for our course for our students, but I'm sharing it with you here today, so I would take this message down because it's worked wonders for us. So the message is, my name is, and I'll just do it with my information, okay? My name is Shimmy from Shimmy Incorporated, okay? It's all made up, except my name is Shimmy. We are looking to go into um, water bottles, and we are interested in your product, the 200 ml um, stainless steel water bottle. We will start with a test quantity of one to 300 units. During this test, we will assess your speed and quality of your product. We would like to discuss things via phone or Skype in order to speed up the process. Our Skype contact, our Skype contact is blah, blah, blah. Please provide us with your contact details and we can get started. Thanks so much for your time and consideration. We look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Shimmy. Company is Shimmy Incorporated and Skype is blah, 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 apparently. so. When I say phone or Skype, don't worry, you don't have to get into a Skype video with them, you don't have to get into a Skype phone call with them, you can literally just chat, okay? You can just send messages. You don't have to call them or video. If you want to call and you want a video, then by all means, be my guest. But you don't have to if you feel uncomfortable doing that. So, pricing. Now that we've contacted the supplier, we will be able to start discussing pricing and of course, negotiating the price. Once we get the basic idea of how much the item will cost, plus the shipping cost, we can start to work out our profit margins. The AMZ Scout Chrome extension that I spoke about earlier makes this super easy, right? So let's go back. You go onto Amazon, you search for the product, and you click the Chrome extension. So where that arrow is facing over here, okay? Step two is you click on the numbers, or any of the numbers under FBA fees. So you see it says FBA fees, and then you click on any of these numbers where this arrow is facing, and then this profit calculator will pop up. This is where you can input the numbers, right? So the product price is $19.99. You've now spoken to your supplier, so you know the product cost, which is let's say five. Okay, so this is your cost. Now Amazon know exactly how, um, sorry, AMZ Scout know exactly how heavy this item is, the dimensions, all of that sort of stuff. So they calculate all your fees and they break it down and they tell you your profit per unit, which will be 10 pounds 60. And they tell you your net margin, which will be 53% which is brilliant because we aim for a 40% profit margin at all times. So 53% is perfect. Launching your product. So quickly, just to go over that, <clears throat> I hope that all makes sense, okay? The whole idea of finding a supplier, um, speaking to them and getting the pricing, finding out the margins and eventually getting an order, okay? I didn't wanna go into too much detail with it, but. I hope that made sense to you. And now let's discuss launching your product, okay? So getting your product listing up and your first sales, plus achieving a bestseller in just a few days, okay? So you may think this is quite a jump, but this is actually the next logical step from sourcing your product. It's launching your product, okay? So it's now time to get your share of the profit. Rank high and beat the competition. Other people are stealing your profit and their listings are really poor and they are not providing customers with what they want. 
you can plug in these simple things to your listing to give your customers an amazing experience. Make Amazon happy, make your customers happy, and of course, you can earn that $10 profit per product like we spoke about earlier. Launching your product. This is so important. Find a good product and getting an amazing price is just the beginning. If you don't sell, if you don't sell it correctly, right, no one will see it and no one will buy it. And here's an example. Just imagine walking past a high street shop that has a cheap Xbox in the window. It looked like a bargain, so you went in. But when you went in, this shop happened to be disgusting. It looked super dodgy and decrepit. And we've all been in a shop like that, I'm sure, right? Chances are you'll be deterred from buying that Xbox, right? Especially from that shop. Because you didn't trust it, you didn't trust the shop. It just, everything looked off in your mind. And to be honest, the Xbox probably wouldn't have even worked, but that's besides the point, okay? And that's exactly the same for Amazon. We need to make sure you have a kick-ass listing, and there are a few factors into making that awesome listing. So, like I said, and just to quickly explain that analogy, because not everyone understands my analogies. In fact, for some reason, no one understands my analogies. Like, literally, whenever I try and do an analogy, everyone's just like, well, that was crap. So, just to explain it for you, um, having a good price and having a good product is not all that's important. You also have to have a really kick-ass listing, okay, to really win people over. And what gets a kick-ass listing is photography, the title, the bullet, the description, and the reviews, okay? And we're gonna talk about that. So the photography. Old school sellers don't know how to do this, okay? They really don't. They think it's just sticking a product on a virtual shelf and it's the same as putting it in the stores, but they don't realize in the store you can hold the product, you can examine it from every angle, right? Selling online is totally different. And look at this, image one and image two. Image one, the actual photo is not a bad photo, right? But they give you three photos, the front, the back, and like a side photo. And image two, they have three, six, seven photos. They have the front, the back, the side, the inside. They show you what can go in it. They show you close-ups, right? It might be hard to see on the slideshow, but I can see there's lots of photos in there, okay? That is what a good listing, that's what good photos on a listing should be like, right? So photography is so unbelievably important and people are used to being able to see, touch, pick it up, and see it from every angle, right? And we have to mimic this experience for customers through our photography. So imagine going to a shop and it being stuck behind um, like a glass shelf, they're not letting you touch it. Chances are you're not gonna buy that product unless it's something super expensive like a watch or a diamond ring or something. But even then, if you say you wanna buy it, they'll let you hold it, let you try it on, right? It's exactly the same. Amazon allow you to have nine product photos, nine, okay? Remember that, nine product photos. And so many people take three or four product photos and leave it at that. Like this guy on the left, he took three and he was like, well, this is okay. It's insane and I can't understand why anyone would do that. Have a look at these example photos below. This is an awesome example. These photographs are incredible and they showcase his product exactly. So this, these um, eight photos, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, these seven photos, granted he doesn't have nine, but these seven photos are all from one listing and it showcases his product so well. You can see all the colors, you can see what comes with, you can see the inside, you can see these words and close-ups and then you have with models, it's really, really professional looking photos, right? And well, it's, so it should be because he's doing really well. He's making around 25,000 pounds or $33,000 a month, okay? He's making a lot of money a month. And you're probably thinking, how do you know that? Well, I've done my research. Trust me when I say he is earning a ton of money from this product because he's put a lot of effort into this product. And don't worry, okay? If you're worried about getting photos, don't worry. Getting photos like this is much easier than you think. Really, it's much easier. Now let's discuss the title. Old school sellers really don't know how to do this. And I'm serious, they really don't know how to do this. They think that you just put the name of the product as if it was on the shelf in a store, right? And all it had was a, like a name tag, right? They don't realize that people online read about the product, especially the title, as it's the first thing they read. It's one of the best opportunities to get them to click and then buy. Here's a perfect example of when someone has just missed the plot. They have just put their brand name and product name as the title. Herschel Supply Co, Little America Backpack. Now I know Herschel Supply is a famous company, it's a big brand, but that doesn't mean that they don't have to try, okay? Here's an example of an okay title, right? On the next slide, I'll analyze both these titles and I'll tell you why this is actually an okay title. But you can see the title, super long, and let me analyze that for you. So, when someone searches for your product, 
The first thing they'll see in the listings are the main photo, as you can see, the title, the reviews, and whether it's Prime eligible or not, and if it's a bestseller or not, which we'll speak about later. The title needs to be keyword rich, but it also needs to make sense, okay? And before I said that this title was just an okay title, and why did I say it was an okay title and not a perfect title? Because to me, or maybe to you, it looks like it's a really good title. Well, firstly, I can see that there are about 19 keywords in this title. That will make ranking on Amazon much easier as there are so many ways for people to find your product, right? They can search for anti-theft laptop backpack. They can search for laptop backpack. They can search for 15.6 inch laptop backpack, right? They can search for any of these words, right? He's done two things which I don't like. The title doesn't make so much sense and I'm gonna read it now so you can see. The title is Laptop Backpack, Sassoon Business Anti-Theft Laptop Backpack with USB Charging Port, Water Resistant Large Compartment, College School Computer Bag for Men and Women for 15.6 inch laptop and notebook. That does not make any sense. That is just a mixture of words bundled into a title, okay? That makes no sense. He's also doubled down on some of the keywords. He's got laptop, one, two, three, three times. He's got backpack a few times. One important thing which you need to note is you don't ever need to double down on keywords in the title. So for example, laptop backpack is a keyword. However, even though he's got um, water resistant, if someone searches laptop water resistant, that will his listing would still come up because they combine the keywords, okay? So you don't ever need to have more, um, um, you don't ever need to double down on keywords. And if you don't double down on keywords, it means you can fit even more than 19 keywords in there, right? Because he's wasted so much space doubling down. Now let's go on to the next thing, bullets, okay? So when you click on an Amazon listing, you'll see the title and you'll see the price and then you'll see bullets. These are amazing. This is literally where you get to talk about your product benefits using tons of keywords, okay? Tons of keywords. It's important to get in the mind of your customers for these bullets. Make sure you're thinking how they think. Here are two examples. I'm gonna let you guess yourself which one you think is better, right? Number one, look look at his bullets. They are professional looking. He's got capitals, he's got these stars. He's got, he's, he's, he's getting into their mind. Think, look at this first sentence. No longer rely on cheap plastic water bottles that split and crack. That's in people's minds. I don't want cheap plastic water bottles, right? He's getting in your mind. Compare it to number two, right? The number two product, made of high quality food grade stainless steel. Wide mouth for drinking. Cool. Capacity 400 mil, diameter 2.6 inch, height 6.89 inch. Cool. Do you see the difference here, right? They're just, they're not even comparable, right? They're not even comparable. The example one, the bullets are on point. Lastly, let's talk about description. You might be thinking, oh, actually, sorry, not lastly. Let's talk about description. Reviews is gonna be last. You might be thinking, surely I've done enough now, right? Just leave me alone, I've done enough, right? You're probably thinking that. But there's one more place for you to add some more keywords and maybe some more sales tactics. And here's a chance to add your brand story and really hit it home, right? You really wanna get into their hearts and get them to buy your product. Personally, I believe that description doesn't do much. And I have this ongoing debate with my brother, right? And I'm, let me explain, right? I'm a photographer and my brother is a copywriter. He's great at writing English and I think I'm great at taking photos. But again, that's for everyone else to decide. And I, we have this ongoing debate that I think photos is what sells a product and he thinks it's a description. And then we did a test where I had really bad photos and he had a really great description and we flipped it round and I had really good photos and he had a really bad description. And let's just say this, I won. I won. But besides the point, Description is still important, okay? It's still important. You actually want to use it, okay? It's actually important. And here are two examples of, of a great description and an awful description. So this example one is boring. Black text water bottle is an eco-friendly way to carry your favorite drink to school, work. It's just boring, right? Compared to nobody likes a sweaty bottle. There isn't much it isn't much worse than finishing a rigorous workout, reaching for your water bottle and finding it covered in sweat and filled with room temperature water. Come on. Does that not get you in the mindset of wanting to buy this water bottle, right? So you can really see, and even though I just, I told you about our experiment, a good description still does make a difference, okay? It does make a difference. Last but not least, reviews, okay? It's easy to get a handful of reviews, right? And 
products with low reviews show up on the top um, page constantly. Now that sentence made no sense. I don't know why I even wrote it. But look at these examples, okay? You've got this, um, this hammock, which is on the first page, and it's only got 14 reviews. And you've got this backpack, which is on the first page, and it's the number one spot for the keyword, and it's got five reviews. Five reviews, right? You could definitely get yourself five reviews. And there are so many more like it. So, like I said, it's super easy to get a handful of reviews, five, 10, 15, 20 reviews, right? When, when you have a new listing. And having that amount of reviews is perfect for showing up on the top page. So you only really need to get 10 reviews to kickstart your product. And that doesn't mean you will fail if you only have three or four reviews starting out, but 10 should be your goal. Getting 10 full price reviews shouldn't be so hard. Think of colleagues, friends, friends, friends of friends, and there is, like, there's always someone, okay? As long as they purchase it for a full price, it should be fine. So just make sure they purchase it at whatever your full price is. The reason I say 10 reviews is because we have tested this, and as soon as you reach 10, like that double digit, right? As soon as you reach 10 reviews, your conversion rates drastically improve, and then only slightly get better the more reviews you have after 10. However, there is a big jump from nine to 10. So from one to nine, it gets progressively better. From nine to 10, it soars, right? The conversion rates soar, but then from 10 onwards, it's very drastic conversion like changes, really drastic. Sorry, very minor, not drastic, very minor conversion changes. So if, if there's someone on the top page with 300 reviews and you have 10 reviews, that's absolutely fine. Trust me, that's absolutely fine. Now that you have one of the best looking listings on Amazon, it's time to start driving some sales, okay? So let's get this product to number one. Let's do that. <clears throat> time to get to number one. In order to work your way to the top of Amazon, you need sales volume. And how do you get sales volume, you ask? Well, here are just three ways. Giveaways, PPC, and the break-even strategy. And there are many more ways, like many, many, many more ways, but I'm gonna keep it simple just for this video and tell you about these three ways. So, some of these methods might actually cost you some money, but that's okay, because remember, we're going to be getting access to Amazon's 310 plus million customers. So if I told you for a small fee, I could get your product to the number one spot, which pretty much guarantees that you'll get tons of, um, of people clicking on your product and seeing your product, would it be worth it? Well, of course it would be. It's a small price to pay for a long-term free traffic. So let's start with the first one, giveaways. Giveaways are when you use a website like AMZ Tracker or Viral Launch to do a small giveaway of your product, okay? You can decide to give away five items a week. Sorry, you can decide to give away five items a day for a week or even start with giving away two on the first day, four on the second day, etc., etc. This shows increase of sales over time, which Amazon actually really love. Amazon evaluate sales every couple of days and adjust their ranks accordingly. I can't tell you exact facts because no one really knows how the Amazon algorithm works. No one except them. But this is exactly how it worked for us, so I'm just speaking from experience. PPC. The next way is PPC, which is pay-per-click. This is when you use Amazon's advertising to promote your product. You could also use Google, Facebook, and YouTube to advertise your product, but I'm going to get into that. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. When you run an Amazon ad, your product has the possibility of showing up right at the top. So I've searched for hammock and you can see that this is these two are sponsored. This guy with six reviews, he also only has 21 reviews, but this guy with six reviews selling for $30.99 has shown up as the number one spot, okay? So that's what Amazon ads do. They are by far the best ads because people are already on Amazon search for a product and you show up there right on the top. Eventually you can turn these ads off and save some money and get a much larger profit. We personally no longer run any ads of any sorts of promotion, like literally nothing. And we comfortably get around one to 2,000 sales a month. And that's just from one product. One to 2,000 sales a month, that's ridiculous. If um, it doesn't cost us a penny because we're using Amazon's free traffic, remember I told you about their 310 million customers, right? We are just using those people. Uh, we're not using them, but those people are buying our products, we didn't have to pay anything in any advertising, nothing. We are paying Amazon fees when we sell a product, but that's, that's fine. So it's pretty much just free money for us now. So the last strategy, the break-even strategy. 
The third way is the break even strategy, which is when you price your item at break even cost to get maximum sales. You'll get a crazy amount of sales as people will flock to your listing as it will look so amazing and be so cheap. You can also do this with Amazon promotions, but again, we're not gonna get into that right now. As soon as you're at the point in the ranking where you're getting enough organic sales, you can just hike your price back up and get real price sales. So this is a really, really good one because people will buy the lowest price item. And once you get enough sales, Amazon will see that, you'll go up the listing, put the price back up, boom, you're good. Right, that is just a few strategies to getting your first sales. Let's go over the most commonly asked questions, okay? Let me get rid of any doubt. We've covered so many questions with our students and we're gonna go through the most common ones now, okay? So we've literally gone through hundreds of questions, but don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you. I've only got like five or six questions which I'm gonna go through. Um, and to be honest, these common questions, right, over the last four years of selling on Amazon and over two years of teaching on Amazon, we've accumulated quite a few um, common questions that people have. And I'm just gonna go over some of these questions, right, for you and hopefully they should help you relieve any doubt that you may have. And to be honest, who knows? You may have already written down some of these questions, um, like just to ask me in the comments or after the video, so definitely stay tuned. How much time do I need for this? Great question. Well. To answer that really, really quickly, and I'm gonna try and quick fire, like quick rapid fire questions. Um, how much time do I need for this? I would say two hours a day, one to two hours a day for product research. Um, and then as soon as you find a product, maybe maybe a bit less, maybe an hour a day, because the hardest and most um, time consuming part of this business is product research. So one to two hours a day, so you can do that with a full-time job, you can do that in bed, you can do it in the morning, you can do that during lunch. Literally, one to two hours a day is the maximum. Again, you could do 10 hours a day and take this so seriously and be a millionaire by tomorrow. No, don't believe what I'm saying. But literally, you can, you can put whatever time you want in, but I think a good amount of time is one to two hours a day. How much money do I need for this? Ooh, good question. So, how much money do I need for this? Again, I'm only gonna talk from experience. We started with 600 pounds. Gosh, it's gotten very dark. Let me brighten this up for you. We started with 600 pounds, okay? That was our first order on Amazon. I would say a great amount of money to start is 1,000 pounds, and if you decide to invest in training or anything, maybe one to 1,200 pounds is a great amount of money. And I also have other YouTube videos on how to go from zero to 1,000 pounds so that you can actually start this business or other businesses. So I would say, um, you know, I would say 800 to 1,200 pounds is a great amount because you can always start with a smaller um, number, a smaller order of products. Is it too saturated now? How will I make any money? No, Amazon is not too saturated. In fact, I'm in full product research um, mode at the moment. Um, there'll be a video coming out on that very soon, um, but we are finding a new product now because we find new products all the time. So Amazon is not too saturated and if we're able to find products every single day, so can you. So no, Amazon is not too saturated. Has Amazon peaked? This is hilarious because people actually ask me this. Has Amazon peaked? Is there any more money like in it, right? Is, is there any money in it anymore, right? And I'm just like, what are you saying? Of course Amazon hasn't peaked. Amazon is one of the biggest, best e-commerce places in the world. There is no way they've peaked. In fact, millennials, right? The most people, the people who commonly shop on Amazon are now one of the largest groups of population and they are now coming into their most expensive years, right? Their most expensive years. So in my mind, Amazon is literally just reaching puberty. It hasn't even started yet. Amazon is going to blow up even more than it's already blown up. Think of Amazon as a grenade and it's about to drop a nuclear bomb. Like it's about to blow. It is no way peaked. Trust me on that. Do I need to invent a new product? No, you don't. I don't know what to sell. Well, watch the beginning of this video. I talk all about what you can like find and what you can sell and how to find products. Um, and if you still don't know what to sell, then stay till the end of this video because I've got cool things for you. Will this work in my country? I don't know what country you're in, but will this work in your country? Yes, it should do. Um, it works in most countries. You can always search Google, can I sell on Amazon in, let's say you're in the Philippines, Philippines or India, India, right? Search anywhere but it works in most countries. And countries that it doesn't work in, you can just sell in another country. When we first started selling on Amazon, I live in the UK. When we first started selling, we were selling solely in the US. So it's fine. You can always do that. 
I'm too old to start. No, you're not. Nah, I'm just, look, you're not too old to start. There's no reason why you think you're too old to start. If you're not technical enough, that's absolutely fine. You don't need to be technical. You just need the right guidance to tell you what you need to be doing, but you are in no way too old to start. So don't worry about that. I'm not technical enough. I don't get this. I just answered that on the previous question. If you have the right guidance, it doesn't matter how technical you are, you'll be absolutely fine. I tried, but had no luck and I've lost hope. What should I do? I get that question, right? Well, um, try and approach it from a different angle. That's what I would say. Follow maybe, if you follow training, follow different training, follow different guidance. Maybe get a mentor and ask for personal one-to-one -one help, right? Try and get some one-on-one -on -one help. Find out why it didn't work for you and work on the things that will actually allow you to make money from it because there is money in there to be made for you. This is way too overwhelming. Mm. Now, <clears throat> my answer to this is if it's overwhelming, it's because you you don't have the right guidance or the necessary um, help and the right steps. If it's too overwhelming, it's because you're not going along the right path. If you're following the right guidance, it shouldn't be overwhelming at all. It should be nicely laid out step by step. So it shouldn't be overwhelming. So if it's too overwhelming, then consider where you're learning it from and change. Those are all the questions, okay? Um, I told you I was gonna go through some of them. I was gonna quick rapid fire some of them and um, I wasn't gonna go through all of them. So those are the questions. Right, now let's get into this part. Having a mentor versus going at it alone. Having someone hold your hand. <laughs> now, having someone hold your hand and get you to five figures a month is a no brainer, right? If someone's gonna say like, if, if someone's gonna be able to help you do that, then why say no? So having a mentor versus going at it alone. We practice what we preach, okay? We seek mentors wherever we go, from books to events to private coaches and talking to multi-millionaire business owners, being coached by them and paying tens of thousands of pounds for it. We literally just paid over 10,000 pounds for a coach, way over 10,000, okay? We love coaches, we love the idea of having people who we can say are better than us at business help us. So there's nothing wrong with someone saying they need our help, just like we're happy to say we need someone else's help, right? It's like a whole level uh, a level here. You've got the best, let's say, Bill Gates. And you go all the way down, right? Eventually, like if, if you were able to get help from Bill Gates, you would, right? Of course you would. There's nothing wrong with, I'm not, I'm, I'm not comparing myself to Bill Gates, by the way. Please don't be confused. But what I'm saying is everyone gets help from someone and even Bill Gates reads books, right? I'm telling you, Bill Gates has lots of mentors as well. Trust me, okay? So, always investing in mentorship and guidance. We always like to invest in mentorship and guidance because without it, we'd be going 10 times slower. And that's a fact because I've worked out how much faster we've gone because of the advice of our mentors. And it literally, we've been going 10 times faster because of it. So mentors versus going at it alone. This is so unbelievably important. And there are a lot of people who don't understand the value of having a mentor. Of all the mentors I've had, even the ones that I've paid tens of thousands of pounds to, I've only ever elevated my businesses. Think of that. All the mentors, I've had a lot of mentors, I've only ever elevated my businesses. Think of it like this. Imagine going to school and one day, oh, just by the way, this is another one of my probably crappy, um, just forgot the word, analogies. Just gonna put it out there, just gonna give you the disclaimer right now. Um, but imagine going to school one day, the teacher drops a giant heavy science textbook on your desk and says to you, good luck. Well, that's not so bad because you have that book, don't you? You've got something to follow. Let's take it a step further, right? Imagine going to school and on the first day being told, you have to go out and find the textbook yourself. You'll probably be completely lost. And this is going at it alone, okay? Nothing changes in business, okay? Having a mentor guide you through the steps in the correct order at the correct pace is amazing. And there are courses out there that will give you all the info at once and leave you to figure it out, right? That's like getting a textbook and on day one and being told good luck, right? So I'll just say that sentence again. There are courses out there that will just give you all the info at once and tell you like, go figure it out, right? Go, go and do the course and start your business. And that's like getting your textbook on day one. Like it's a good step, but it's not really gonna, it's still gonna be really hard for you, right? So we don't like that. There are also courses out there that give you the info and help you along the way to break it down and really help you personally turn it into a business that can work for you. That sounds a lot more like school, doesn't it? They give you the textbook 
and she helps you throughout the entire year and probably even gives you personal mentorship if you need it, right? That makes more sense. Going at it alone is definitely possible, but it's infinitely harder. And finding out, um, finding all the uh, right info, piecing it all together at the right times and making sure you don't make any mistakes, that doesn't sound fun. That does not sound fun. Surely it makes sense to have someone or even a group of people giving you advice and helping you along the way. Now, I hope you've liked this video and I know it may have been a bit long, but I really want to pack in as much info as possible for you. And let me just ask you one question. How will an extra 1,000 or 1,000 pounds, 2,000 dollars a month change your life? If that's all you made, would it have been worth it? If all you make is an extra thousand a month, is that worth it? And this is seriously lowballing it as well, seriously lowballing it. I know what I would do, or I shouldn't say that, I know what I currently do, right? And as you can see from these photos, I really, 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 really love traveling, right? Really love traveling. I think this is in the space of two years. I took these photos. And yes, they're all from different places, I think. Let me just see. Yeah, they're all from different places. Um, and this is not me bragging, this is just me telling you what I would do, right? I want to know what you would do. Would you um, spend more time with the family? Um, do stuff with your kids? If you don't have kids, would you spend money on your girlfriend? If you don't have a girlfriend, would you spend money on yourself? What would you do? Really, what would you do? So, let me ask you, do you want my help? Right? Do you want my help? And this is where I'm introducing you to Azon University 2. The only Amazon course to offer everything you need in an easily digestible format. What do you think of the cool uh, animation? I wasn't going to add it, but then I thought, let's add this really cool animation. Like they do it in the Apple keynotes where it goes. I was like, yeah, why not? I'm going to add that as well. But anyway, it is introducing you to Azen University 2. What is Azen University 2? So, well, let me do it again. That is. That's perfection. That's perfection of, of uh, super cool animation there, right? That's like coding skills on another level. But no, seriously. Is University 2 is an Amazon course, and I'm gonna tell you about that course now. So stay tuned. Um, if you wanna click off, I mean, look, I understand, but I would stay tuned because you've invested this much time into the video so far, and it only is gonna get better from here. The course, the bonuses, and just all the good stuff, and the one-to-one -one help. So just, you know, I've said too much. I've said too much. Stay tuned, trust me. I'm going to tell you, or I'm going to, uh, my English is horrible. I'm going to tell you about our course in this part of the video, and you can click off if you want, like I just said. However, if you have enjoyed the training so far, I know you're going to be absolutely blown away by what I have for you now. There'll be unique offers. Don't say anything. There'll be unique offers for this video, plus some insane bonuses, which I don't think anyone else is offering. And I'm serious, I don't think anyone else is offering these. So really, stay tuned. A big butt, okay? I just thought of the song in my head. I literally just thought of the song in my head. I like, nope, not gonna say it. A big butt. I have to tell you this. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. It's a proper legitimate business. And if you want to succeed, you will have to put some serious effort in, okay? A couple of hours a week at the beginning is all you need. And I know those two sentences don't really go together. Serious effort, a couple of hours a week but that is serious effort. Putting a couple of hours a week in is good effort and I'll be really proud of you if you did that, okay? And eventually, this business will work on autopilot like it has for us now, right? This business works on autopilot. So, let's get into it. The normal way of delivering a course is to give you all the content in one go. However, that is incredibly overwhelming and that's the last thing we want for you. We don't want to blow your mind with all the information at once. So we spent thousands and thousands of pounds, and really we did spend thousands of pounds testing both the methods, right? The method of giving you all the information at once and the method, the method of releasing a new module every week for like a period of six to eight weeks, okay? And as soon as we tested this, our student success rate went through the roof. And this is Barney, right? This is one of our students, right? Look at that, in 30 days, 55,000 pounds, right? And his profit margin, he's made about 25 to 30,000 pounds. That's insane, right? That's insane. And every week you will get a new series of videos that make sense to you at that point in time rather than confuse you at the point of wanting to give up. So we're not gonna be telling you about getting sales 
at the beginning because you need to find out how to get a product at the beginning, right? So they come week by week and it gets given to you as you're ready for it. It's so clever, it's brilliant, it's really, really clever. Okay, and this makes a lot more sense, right? And just to add, you get, you get to keep these videos forever. You get, you get lifetime access to these videos plus any future videos we bring out because we are in the process of adding a whole new section to the course and again, you'll get free access. You always get free access, right? Once you buy the course, you're in it the whole time. So what's in this course? Well, let's go through it. Week one. Week one is a welcome. So we introduce you to the entire course and give you access to the Facebook community. And you also get the private, oh, you're gonna find out. So in week one, you'll get access to the private community of students and mentors, as well as receiving access to a few bonuses that I'm going to tell you about a bit later. So just to go over that sentence, you get private access to a private community of students and mentors, right? So remember what I told you about before, why go, why go at it alone if there are students who are doing it with you are on the same level as you and mentors who have done it and who are on levels of 55,000 pounds a month, right? Get their help, why not? So you'll also be getting your welcome goodie pack and this might not come straight away, it can take a few weeks to come. But yes, that's right, we send you a bunch of awesome swag and it's really cool swag. It's not this, but it's, it's cool, trust me. I designed it myself. In this first week, we want you to prepare yourself for what is about to change your life. The private community plays an amazing part here and you can really see all the other students having success and sharing their questions and results. So this first week is, a, is an important week of planning for your future of selling on Amazon. Week two, product profits. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick fire through what's in this course as well, just because I, I don't wanna go like into crazy depth into what's in this course because I could be here for another five hours and I'm sure you have somewhere to be. Like, I'm sure of it. So week two, you'll discover an endless supply of product ideas in your idea factories. You'll learn the principles of winning products and our favorite research tools. And by the end of this module, you will have several profitable product ideas ready to go. Okay, so you can see these videos aren't like short videos. You've got 27 minutes, 30 minutes, 23 minutes. These are in depth good, brilliant, amazing videos, right? These are good videos. So in week two, you'll learn all about finding the perfect product. In week three, we're gonna introduce you to golden suppliers and here you'll learn how to find amazing suppliers, what to ask them, how to ask it and what to do to move forward. You'll learn how to handle shipping and get your first order going. So in this week, in this week, you're gonna be able to find the product on Alibaba, speak to suppliers and actually get an order going. So that's a big step and that's gonna be an awesome step for you. In week four, it's your first Amazon page. You'll set up your first Amazon page. You'll learn how to set up the entire um, Amazon account in the UK or the US, create your first product listing. You'll learn how to optimize your listing, get the highest conversions possible. And I'm talking upwards of 70 to 80% conversion rates, which is unheard of in e-commerce. And how to price your product. So again, this, this module is as this week is all about creating the perfect Amazon page that will look 100 times better than any of your competition. In week five, we're gonna go into a bit more detail into Amazon Seller Central, which is basically your hub where you can manage orders, manage um, your customers, manage everything, your ads, your promotions, all of it, right? Because that is, when we first did it, that is one confusing website. I am gonna be honest with you, it is a confusing website. And we break it down for you as like <clears throat> easily as we possibly can. Like we really tell you as much as we can and break it down for you. So that's what week five is about. Week six is called Welcome to the Sales Avalanche. And here we'll teach you how to get your first few reviews, start, um, start off in your market, use paid advertising and so much more. You'll learn how to uh, get a bestseller on Amazon. You'll learn how to fly up the ranks with your product listing. So this is all about getting sales, getting your first sales and getting consistent sales. So it's not just about getting your first sales and then your product dying. It's about getting your first sales, but consistent as well. So 10 sales, 20 sales, 30 sales every single day, right? You can see we talk all about advertising here. Week seven is called Welcome to the Top 1% and you'll learn how to join the one, top 1% 1 of Amazon sellers. And this is where you'll learn how to scale your business using email marketing, increasing the value of your product, using monthly promotions um, and taking a business worldwide. So here we're really scaling your Amazon business and this is all with one product, okay? And here we talk about going into another product. So you can see the second last video is called Here We Go Again and here we'll talk about going into another product. And again, like I said, we are constantly adding videos and adding sections. And then I said it's a eight week thing. So in the eighth week is a case study, okay, a bonus case study, which we are in the process of finishing. It's, it's just 
in, it's the most insane case study I think we've ever done because we are doing a case study from start to finish of finding a product and getting that product to 10,000 and we are videoing the entire process the entire process is gonna be the most epic case study ever. And it's also the module where we add bonuses like all the extra videos that we're adding. Now, that's just what's in the course, right? That's just what's in the course, but there is so much more, right? And if that course is all you got, that's still pretty epic and you, you, can, you can, that's all you need, but there is so much more, okay? I have five awesome resources for you that you get access to as well, okay? Five awesome resources. Number one is the exclusive private community. With our private community, you can grow together with us and other successful students. And being surrounded by a community is the best way to grow in any space. When other people around you are sharing positive stories, helpful comments, and inspiration, it's easy to join in with that success. And you can see you've got Larry Austin, Laura Montecchi, Bobby Sin, Tor Elaine, Elizabeth, Tim Weston, Michael, Theo, you've got tons of people. And I mean, this is all I could fit on this page, but there are tons of these, okay? Tons of these, and these people really, really help. This is just everyone introducing themselves. That There's so much help in this group, it's not normal. And it's completely private. So anyone, only students get access to this. The second is a weekly live Q&A, and I don't know anyone else who does this, any other Amazon course who does this, but within our private community, within our, um, our group, right? I host a live Q&A every single Wednesday or every single week. And I mean, I try to do it every single week, providing that people have questions. If everyone, if no one has questions, then there's no need to do one. But providing people have questions, it's amazing. And it's so interactive. Everyone gets involved and asks me anything they want, no matter where they're up to in the business. Like you can see from these pictures, I get on a live call. I sometimes do um, face, sometimes I do a, a slideshow, go through all the questions and I answer everyone's questions and comments come in and I answer those questions too and it's really, really fun interaction, it allows you to get to know other sellers selling on Amazon. It's, look, if I'm being honest, it's such a nice community, it's such a nice little family and I love it, I really, really love it. So, <clears throat> the next thing you get is the Profit Spreadsheet Calculator. That's a mouthful. We have created our very own Profit Spreadsheet so you can work out the exact cost of various items at once and see if they show any profit potential. The students have absolutely loved this resource and use it all the time. We've also created a new product criteria that you'll get with this profit spreadsheet. And that's like a, a bonus within a bonus. And it's hard to put this into words how awesome this resource is. Um, again, Josh made it, um, so he'll be able to talk about it a lot more than I will, but we are constantly using it ourselves um, for our own products and products we are researching. It's just, it's so useful. It took him like hours and even days to make and figure out all the the um, the Excel um, calculations and the, the, the this and the that and the algorithms and he did it and it's just, it's epic and we're gonna give that to you. So that's really, really cool. The penultimate resource, supplier questions. What do you ask your suppliers? We want to ensure that you get the right supplier. And I, I told you about this. It's so important you get the right supplier and you do everything right. And we want to make sure your supplier does everything you need and sometimes asking them the right questions can be hard. There are quite a few things that you need to be asking them, but don't worry because we have done all of that for you. So if you're thinking, this all sounds good, but I haven't got the foggiest idea how to really source my product and speak to my supplier, that's really okay as well as the entire third week, you'll get access to these questions, which our students have all used and have had incredibly successful relationships with their suppliers. So it's a list of 15 questions, which we think should be asked and shouldn't be missed um, when speaking to suppliers. And it just makes your life so much easier because you don't even have to think. We've done the thinking for you, it's brilliant. And the last resource I have for you today is personal mentoring right? This is epic. Personal mentoring and two months of personal mentoring. So with this new course, we've added brand new content. Our goal is to get better results faster. We share our up-to-date strategies that we are using right now today. In this ever-changing market, you need the most recent information to stay ahead. You know success requires mentoring. Michael Jordan had 12 coaches, even while he was the best in the world. Every successful person I've ever heard of got coaching or mentoring. Our goal is to make you successful. And since success requires mentoring, that's what we've added for you. With other courses, you get handed a bunch of information and then left to your own devices. 
With this course, you get personal one-to-one -one coaching. We do it through email, and every student gets access to this private email when they sign up. This means we can give a personal response to you and hold your hand as you set up profitable Amazon business. Because it's through email, our answers are saved in your inbox forever so you can always come back to it. And it also allows us to put a lot more effort into the answers and sit down, research, and really give you the best answer that we think is gonna make your business successful. We've had students ask about product ideas, setting up accounts, improving their listings and conversions. There is nowhere else that our students could get such a personal and in-depth response and help. Without this component in an online course, many students give up. And that's why we've added it for you here. And this resource is two months of personal mentoring, which I personally, personal, personally, think is amazing. But that's not it. I'm serious, that's, that's not it. We also have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you start building your Amazon business in the next 30 days and don't absolutely 100% love our training and our support, then just contact us and tell us how you feel. And then we'll quickly give you all of your money back. We're not here to to take your money. We really want you to have a successful business, right? And if it doesn't work out for you, if you're feeling like mm, this training is not for me, send us an email and we'll give you a refund. No problem. You can see how easy it is to get started, right? And how cheap you can get started too. Why wouldn't you want to take advantage of this opportunity? Like, why wouldn't you? It's so easy. And I've just explained it all for you and it's all laid out for you right there. And you might be thinking I'm too late. And remember I told you about that millennials fact. Well, this is from Goldman Sachs, right? Millennials are coming of age. One of the largest generations in history is about to move into its prime spending years. Millennials are poised to reshape the economy. Their unique experiences will change the way we buy and sell, forcing companies to look at how they do business for decades to come. Millennials are the biggest group populations, right? They are coming into their most highest spending years ever. Now is the time to be on Amazon, so you are in no way too late. Now, the bonuses aren't over, okay? If you thought the bonuses were over, they're not over. That I can guarantee you. This first bonus is, we spoke about the importance of photography, and as a photographer myself, I already have everything in place to take the most professional looking photographs. So, we're actually in my studio right now. I've got a whole backdrop and lights and studio everywhere, right? And I, I've got everything in place, but I can't assume that you have everything in place, which is why I made this product photography course. And this will teach you exactly how to take incredible product photos for your products without having to own special lights, backdrops, cameras, like, and a whole studio. I literally show you how you can do it just with your iPhone. There is a whole section of the course and I literally just use my iPhone for it, right? Just using my iPhone. And we usually sell this course for 247 pounds. But as a bonus for Asian University too, you get this course for free. So that, that's pretty insane, right? Bonus number two. We also spoke about the importance of titles, keywords, bullets, and descriptions. And now I'm gonna be honest with you, and you've probably noticed from this slideshow that my English isn't the greatest, there are spelling mistakes, and just me talking probably isn't the best, right? And in fact, it used to be so poor, or I thought I was dyslexic, like my English used to be so poor that my incredibly expensive English tutor told me to drop the subject and just stop trying. And that is not something a 16 year old kid wants to hear. Now, as I get mentoring for everything else, I have been training myself in English as well, reading as much as I can, taking courses on English. And I have to be honest with you, my English has improved drastically since it, since it, like how it used to be, right? And that's me making a mistake again. But this is so important, right? Copywriting is so important. So Josh, our chief copywriter, decided to make this course, right? As his English and his sales talk is pretty incredible, and it, like, it really is incredible, he made this course for seasoned Amazon sellers to help them take their listing to new heights, and it really has. So this, is, this course has helped people who are already selling on Amazon, but he's really turned their listings around and made and, and increased their conversion rates, and you're getting this as well. So this course also retails, real real tears. This course also retails for 247 pounds, but as a bonus for joining Asian University too, we're gonna throw this in for you as well. And you'll find these two bonuses, the photography one 
and the um, and this copywriting one so incredibly useful when creating your listing. And I'm so sure of it. If it's helped seasoned Amazon sellers, it will definitely help new Amazon sellers. That I'm sure of. And if you're thinking I'm laying on these bonuses too hard, well, <clears throat> think of it this way: I could not offer these extra bonuses and goodies, and I'm having trouble seeing how that's to your benefit. Or I could offer less to you and leave them unannounced as pleasant surprises when you log into the members area. And who's to say I haven't already done that? Right? Wink, wink. Um, or I could bring these things out and get you pumped up with the caveat of knowing the following. Even if you do not open these, download these, use these, or ever think about them again, you will still have everything you need when you sign up to go forth with this, right? And it just so happens that if it all falls into your lap one day and it's helpful, fantastic. But if you never need to use these bonuses, also fantastic. It doesn't matter, right? The fact is you have them at your disposal if you need them. So wouldn't you agree that when something is truly incredible, you can't have too much of a good thing? So allow me to and indulge me as I attempt to overwhelm you with value. Bonus number three. Remember the tool I was using at the beginning of this video called AMZ Scout? Well, this is AMZ Scout, right? This is their website. It was helping us find products and it was giving us all the information we needed to decide whether or not a product was profitable. Okay, now I said we could do this manually, but if you wanted to save time and really go deep into a product, this tool is brilliant. Well, we have partnered with them, right? We have partnered with AMZ Scout to give our students and only our students an exclusive discount on AMZ Scout's suite of tools. How cool is that? Right, we, it's just a bit, my mind is blown right now. We've, we've got, exclusive discounts, like a really good discounts, right? Forever, for our students. That's just amazing. And you don't have to join the course and immediately take, take, take this up. You can wait a couple of months, you could do it in a couple of years, right? The discount's there for you when you're ready. I think that's super cool, right? And that leads us on to bonus number four, right? What about the tool I mentioned during the getting sales phase? Remember I mentioned this tool called Viral Launch about doing, giving, uh, doing giveaways, right? Sometimes having a, a program to do giveaways with makes your life a lot easier. Well, this is another incredible tool to take your Amazon business to the next level. And I'm sure you know what I'm about to say. We have partnered with Viral Launch as well to bring our students an exclusive discount if they decide they ever want to sign up and like to use it. Like there's no pressure to use it, but if you decide you want to in the future, your discount, your, your exclusive discount, I should say, is there. So having these tools at your disposal will seriously take your business to the next level, right? It's just, it's wicked, it's so cool. And just to, just to add in here, we are also currently in talks with various other tools to bring you the best exclusive discounts you could ever receive in all areas. All areas of Amazon, we are in talks with other tools to give you literally the best discounts ever. So we are really on top of this for you. We want you to just have everything you could possibly have. So. Are you ready to take your piece of Amazon's profits off many other sellers that don't know what they're doing, they can't provide value in the space, and why wouldn't you want to help people find what they are looking for? Get into the course now and make a difference in the market while earning a nice share of the profits. Well, I'm sorry to keep doing this to you, but I have one more bonus. Please forgive me, I have one more bonus for you. Bonus five, personal mentoring. Remember I mentioned we offer personal mentoring? Well, this is only for two months, but we wanted to take it a step further and do something ridiculous. And this fifth bonus will extend your personal mentoring for an extra three months, taking it to a total of five months. This mentoring is next level, right? And we have students asking us questions of all sorts. Josh and I personally respond to these mentoring emails. We respond to them, not support staff, we respond to them, right? We don't let any support staff or employees answer these. We want to help you personally. We want to hear your stories. We want to get involved with your businesses. We want, we want to know you. We don't want our support staff knowing you. We want to answer the emails. We want to know your problems and we want to help you. Because of this reason, 
because like this is this takes us so long and it's, it's us doing it we don't know how long this will be on this off will be on for like this fifth bonus we don't know how long this is going to be on for and as soon as it gets to a point where we where like all we're doing all day is responding to emails we will either have to get some help in which we really don't want to do um so either we'll have to get help in and teach them everything we know and really get them to answer the emails but that's not ideal um but what might just happen is we're going to get to a point where um, we'll have to take this bonus away for any new students, right? Any existing students will obviously continue to get their personal mentoring for their like full allotted time. So if you're one month in and we take it away, you still get your four months. So don't worry about that. But that's the fifth bonus. And this is probably the best one because this, this literally is insane. You can ask us anything at any point, right? You can ask us what to name your dog. I mean, don't, but I'm saying you can ask us anything about your Amazon business and we will be there to help. And we generally answer within 24 hours. If we're away, we, we ask you to allow 48 hours. But if I'm being completely honest, most of the responses happen within three hours. Three hours. So we're always there on top, on top of things helping you out. So I honestly don't know how long we're gonna keep all these bonuses up for. And all I can say is if you're watching to this point in the video, they are still there, right? They're still available to you, but I don't know how long we're gonna keep them up for. And I'm not just saying that because this is a lot of value. And when you see the price, you're gonna realize why we can't keep this up forever because it's a bit ridiculous. It's just, it's a bit insane. So if you're still here and you're watching to this point, then yes, they are still available. So you're probably thinking, how much is this going to cost me? <clears throat> I mean, I know I would be thinking that. And if all of this cost you £2,000, would it still be worth it? Be honest with, your th with yourself, okay? Be honest. Knowing how easy it is to make £2,000 every single month, right? And that's just six sales a day at £10 profit per sale. And that is easy because we're currently making upwards of 50 sales a day. And that's from one product. Amazon let you have as many products as you want, okay? Literally, they let you have as many products as you want. And we've got more than one product. But that, those 50 sales I'm telling you about is from one product, okay? So if all this costs you 2,000, would it still be worth it? Be honest. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, it's not gonna cost you 2,000 or in dollars 2,800. In fact, it's not even going to cost a quarter of that, okay? You can get Asian University 2 plus all of the resources and all of the bonuses for 497 pounds. Let that sink in, 497 pounds. Or if you're in the States, it will be $697. Or if you're anywhere around the world, choose which price you want to pay. We don't mind. The reason the dollars is a bit more is because the exchange rate keeps changing. But you can see below the links. So if you want the US price, go to www.azonu.net right slash US. And if you want the UK, you've got www.azonu.net right slash UK. Now this price has actually come down from 997 pounds or in dollars, $1,297. And you'll see that on the next, when you go to this website, you'll see that's what we were charging. And in this video, I'm charging 497 pounds. It's ridiculous. Those two links, by the way, will also be the first links in the description. So if you don't wanna waste time typing something in, you could just click the link in the description. So let's just, let's just have a, a, a recap because it's quite overwhelming with the amount of stuff I just told you, and I'm sure you're agreeing with that. So you've got five incredible resources. You've got the, the exclusive private community. You've got weekly live Q and A's with myself, and sometimes Josh likes doing it, but I usually do it. You've got the profit spreadsheet calculator, which was made by Josh, and I can tell you it's pure genius. And you've got the supplier questions. You've got <clears throat> two months of private personal mentoring. Those are the resources. You've also got five insane bonuses. You've got the product photography course. You've got the Amazon copywriting course, and you've got the exclusive AMZ scout discount the exclusive viral launch discount, plus other exclusive discounts which are coming in the future. And you've got three extra months of private personal mentoring. That's by far like the best one. I, I genuinely think that's the best one. And obviously you've got that plus is university too, which we went through, which is all the weeks, right? All of that is 497 pounds. That's insane. Like that's actually insane. I don't know anyone else who has offered so much Right? And like I said, you might be thinking, oh, you're just offering so much, so much. But I told you, if I've got it available, I'm going to offer it to you. I want you to do well. And I want to give you anything I can to make you do well. And if it means giving you all of this, then so be it. 
There's no point in me keeping this for myself. I want you to do well, so I'm gonna let you use it, right? I know this will work for you, but you don't have to take my word for it. I want to show you what other people are saying about Asian University too. So if you don't wanna take my word for it, that's fine. This is Michael Sharman, right? Look at one of his posts. Just got rated number one for um, our main keyword, ahead of top brands that have been around for 30 years. He just got rated number one. And he even made a video for us, and I'm gonna play this video for you now. Check it out. Uh, hi, uh, this is Michael Sharman. Um, recently, I purchased the Azon 2 University Program, the FBA uh, training program from uh, Shimmy and Josh. Uh, found the program to be excellent, uh, very well structured, very well presented. Uh, a lot of detail in there, which is uh, essential for somebody to be successful uh, uh, on Amazon FBA. Really enjoyed the material and we're using it to uh, now launch our second product and we hope to uh, give you some feedback as to success uh, over the next few months. Thanks very much. This is Kay Stewart. She did make a video for us, but that's okay. We don't mind because she has left, she left us one of the nicest um, Facebook posts I think I've ever seen from, from, from a student. It was just lovely and I'm gonna read the whole thing out to you because it's just, it's so nice and I'm so appreciative. So Kay says, hi everyone. I hope this post helps people who are still debating about, Azon, about the Azon course or for those who um, are new to the group. Anyone who is on the fence is on you is a great course to take. I signed up a few months ago. When I originally signed up, I had so many questions regarding product research. There were so many products out there and I really wanted to find a product that netted me a good return. <clears throat> I emailed Josh and Shim every other day, asked them to look at products I picked out. She did. And, um, and they were so helpful. They answered my emails the same day or a day later and gave me their honest opinion on products I picked out. Of course, most of the products were not approved, um, but it just gave me more experience on how to find the right product. Yes, their course goes over step by step on how to choose the right product, but I was so anxious to find a good product, I emailed them from excitement. I find them to be great mentors. They genuinely want you to succeed. So if you want to have a successful business, instead of watching different videos from different sellers, I would commit and get one of um, get a one-on-one -on -one mentor with all the tools you need to become a successful seller on Amazon. Good luck to everyone who is on the journey to get out of the matrix and take control over their lives. Just remember, whether you are religious or spiritual abundance is our birthright, right? I love that. I thought that was so nice, so nice for her to say, and honestly, she's not lying. Barney Phillips, right? Here's another video for you. This is Barney, and I showed you his income before, 55,000, right? So he's probably taking home about 20 to 30,000 from this, right, with his profit margins. I don't wanna tell you his exact profit margins because they're his, but here's what Barney has to say, and he made this video quite a long time ago. Um, since then, we've helped him a lot more. I've done a lot more coaching sessions with him, and we now meet up for regular coffees. We're friends now. We literally, he lives down the road. So we meet up for regular coffees and he gives advice, I give advice, and we just strategize together. It's super cool. It's an amazing relationship. So check out what he has to say. Uh, Shimmy was tremendous, gave me a lot of ideas and suggestions, uh, took me through some practical uh, points and also got me to a point where I was ready to start. And from that point on, uh, I engaged Shimmy to give me some training. Uh, specifically on areas of getting off uh, the business off the ground, up and running uh, on the Amazon account, stuff which would take a long time to learn. So it's a bit of a shortcut, but also the things which I probably would never have learned or would have taken me years to learn. So he taught me everything, the hacks, the angles, the, the actual how to do things um, from sort of seller central onwards, the things which now I think of as normal, he really taught me um, how, to, how to go about using them. Uh, today we have 14 products on Amazon. Uh, we're selling very well and I still stay in touch with Shimmy. He contacts me regularly, uh, asks me how things are going, uh, suggestions, ideas, and likewise I send him stuff. And uh, I feel like I've really got more than just a trainer. I feel like he's kind of like a sponsor on Amazon. Uh, highly recommend these guys, Shimmy, Josh, tremendous people, um, really good coaches, really patient and really knowledgeable. So if you're thinking about using them, do it. And this is Any Mende. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her surname right. My apologies. So, any 
She, get, she said, hi Josh, without saying too much, I just want to express my gratitude for all your support and guidance in taking me to where I am. I cannot believe that the changes I made in the last few weeks, keywords, bullet points, and pictures have taken my turnover from uh, turnover to 6K in 30 days, 6K. And I told you 2K was lowballing it, 6K in 30 days. I know there are many that are turning over as much as 20, 30, and 50K, and I really don't care about that. Just so pleased with my own progress, and I feel I can scale it up to reach those levels with time and perseverance. Just today, I have had nine sales by this time, 12.50 p.m., and it usually would have been two or three sales. We'll keep you updated. I mean, that's amazing. Well done, Any. Genuinely well done. So amazing. And this is Alistair, right? Josh went to a, a youth organization, youth club, to help uh, a group of younger people. I think they were like 18 to 22. I think that age, he did it, not me. And he went with our course and he taught them the course. And this is what Alistair had to say about that. I'm an enterprise lecturer at a youth business incubation centre. Um, Josh came down with his um, Azon University pack uh, to teach Amazon, Amazon FBA to the young people. Um, brilliant course, young people loved it. They've gone out there, they've started up their, their Amazon shop and um, they're starting to flourish. Um, Josh was very clear, he had um, great materials, good rapport with his students and um, yeah, it was just a great to see. He's, um, he's given lots of support as well. Um, his university course is straightforward. The students are finding it easy to understand and um, I think they'll be doing great things. Thanks to Josh. These people are no different to you and I. They just followed this system and took advantage of this opportunity. They took what they knew they deserved. So join Barney, Any, Michael, K and tons of other students in Aizen University and start achieving the same results. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I'm really, really looking forward to having you in the course and in the community. Speak soon. That's it for the slideshow, everyone. Thank you so much. I know I just did that slide, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you for staying all the way through. And if you do decide to take the course, those are the links. You can see them on the screen or it will be the link in the description. And I am genuinely, genuinely so excited to have you in the course, in the community. I want to hear about you. I want to hear about your business. I want to hear about your life. And I really want to help you achieve what you deserve. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it. It was really long and well done for, for, for sticking it out, like going this long, like I can't even believe I did it. Like well done. And hopefully I'll see you in any future videos you watch and hopefully I'll see you in the course.